Did you ever think to yourself, man, I need like one more screwdriver? Hey, I'm Joe Pearson. Welcome to my shop. Um, today, I'm going to make a screwdriver. I'm going to forge a screwdriver without a forge or a traditional anvil. This is part of the making time uh, no forge challenge. So, uh, if you don't listen to Making Time, go listen to it. It's a good podcast. They were gone for a while, but they're back. So, go check them out. Um, so, first I'm going to show you everything you need. Okay, so the first thing, obviously, that you'll need is some steel. This is some uh, 3 8 round bar that I got at Tractor Supply. You can get it at, you know, Lowe's or Home Depot. Um, a marker to mark out your length, if you so choose. A hacksaw to cut it with pair of vice grips uh, to hold it with, a hammer to beat it with, this is just a ball peen hammer, some files for shaping after you beat it into its rough shape, something to beat it on, which I'm going to use the little steel plate on the back of this vise, a can o fire, some clamps to hold the vise down to the workbench, and no project is complete without a man crafting tumbler with your name on it. It doesn't have to have your name on it, but it really helps. Alright, so while that's cooling off, I need to make a handle. And I thought, why not kick it up another little notch on this competition, and I'll make the handle only using hand tools. I got all these power tools, not going to use them. Just hand tools. I'm going to make them out of this piece of ambrosia maple that was going to be a turning project, but I had a big crack in it, and it got a catch, and the whole side flew off uh, towards my face, actually. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, make a handle out of this.
Well, there you have it. Uh, the ugliest screwdriver you've ever seen. But it works. You know, it turns screws. Um, and this is a good experiment. Uh, I know now that I can, uh, if I want to forge something, and I don't have a forge, I can still heat it and beat it and come up with something. So, I think I'm done making screwdrivers for a little bit. I've made a lot of screwdrivers. But, uh, uh, so yeah, thanks for watching. And Making Time, the podcast. You need to go listen to it. Uh, so this is part of a challenge, uh, forging without a forge. And um, there's prizes. Make a video or take photos, whatever, you know. Prove that you did something and um, and submit it to those guys. And, uh, and you can win. And I'm actually donating one of the prizes. Now, the rest of the prizes are really cool. There's really good prizes. But I'm going to donate this mallet that I've made in a previous video. Um, I was talking to Chad and... He said that whenever he was learning to make a knife, well, after you quench it, if it's a little bent and you need to straighten it, they used a wooden mallet rather than a steel mallet because that would break it. So, um, just wood on one side. I put leather on the other side. So, enter and you can win all that cool stuff and maybe get stuck with this. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.